Question 3.1 consists of five measurement questions and one combination of finance and measurement questions that were designed to assist your understanding of perimeters and areas of rectangles and circles and volumes of cylinders. You are given a diagram of an athletic track that is made up of a rectangle in the middle and two semicircles with a radius of 36,5 meters at the ends. The length of the rectangle is 84,39 meters. In question 311, you are instructed to calculate the perimeter in meters of the rectangular area in the middle of the athletic track. You may use the formula perimeter equals 2 times the sum of the length plus the width. The perimeter of a rectangle is the total distance around a rectangle. From the diagram, the length of the rectangle shape part of the track is given as 84,39 meters. The width of the rectangular part of the track is not given but can be calculated. We are given the radius of the semicircle part of the track of 36,5 meters. You will notice that the width of the rectangular part of the track is equal to 2 times the radius of the semicircle part of the track. The width of the track is then equal to 36,5 meters multiplied by 2 and this equals a width of 73 meters. Substituting the values of the length and the width into the given formula for perimeter will give us the equation 2 times the sum of the length of 84,39 meters and the width of 73 meters and this equals a perimeter of 314,78 meters. In question 312, the groundskeeper stated that the cutting cost of the grass which covers the entire area of the inside of the track is 11,900 Rand. You will have to show by means of calculation whether the cost per meter is more than 1 Rand 20 per square meter. You may use the formula area of a circle equals pi multiplied by the radius multiplied by the radius where pi equals 3,142 and area of a rectangle equals length multiplied by the width. To solve this problem, we first have to calculate the total area of the inside field of the track, then divide the total cost of 11,900 by the total area of the field to find the cost per square meter to cut the grass. The total area of the inside field of the track is made up of the rectangular section of the track and the two semicircle sections of the track. Notice that the two semicircle sections can be combined to form a full circle. The area of the rectangle section of the track equals the length of the rectangle section of the track multiplied by the width of the rectangular section of the track. Now substituting the values of the length and the width of the track into the given formula will give us a length of 84,39 meters multiplied by the width of the track of 73 meters and this equals an area of 6,160,47 square meters. Next, we will have to calculate the area of the circular section of the track, which is the two semicircular sections combined. For this area, we will need the formula for the area of a circle of 2 multiplied by the radius squared. Substituting the value of pi and the radius into the formula will give us pi of 3,142 multiply by 36,5 squared and this equals an area of 4,185,9295 square meters. The total area will be 6,160,47 square meters plus 4,185,9295 square meters which equals a total area of 10,346,3995 square meters. Now dividing the total cost to cut the entire field by the total area to be cut will give us a cost to cut the grass per square meter of 1 Rand 15 cents per square meter. Since the actual cost per square meter is less than 1 Rand 20 per square meter, we have to state that the cost is less than 1 Rand 20 per square meter. In question 313, it is stated that the athletics club manager wants to erect a fence 5 meters away from the track on the outside perimeter of the outer lane. 
There is a note that states that the outer radius that is ending at the outer lane is 46,26 meters. The salesperson from Bright's hardware store stated that the required length of the fencing needed will be more than 490 meters. You will have to verify using calculation if he is correct. From the diagram we know that the inner radius of the track is 36,5 meters. From the note given, the outer radius that is ending at the outer lane is 46,26 meters. We also know that the fence will be constructed 5 meters away from the outer lane, so the radius of the fence will be 46,26 meters plus 5 meters, which will give us a radius of 51,26 meters. Now that we know the radius at which the fence will be built, we can calculate the circumference of the two semicircles. The two semicircles combined will form a full circle. Now the circumference of a full circle is given by 2 times pi times the radius, where pi is taken as 3,142. Now substituting the value of pi of 3,142 and the radius of 51,26 meters into the equation, this will give us a circumference of two semicircles combined of 322,11784 meters. Now the total perimeter of the fence will equal the sum of the circumference of the two semicircles plus two times the length of the rectangular shaped section of the field. This will be the circumference of the two semicircles of 322,11784 meters plus 2 times the length of the rectangular shape of 84,39 meters, and this will give us a total perimeter of the fence of 490,89784 meters. Since this value is more than 490 meters, we have to say that the salesman's statement is correct. In question 314, it is stated that he pays 120 rand 45 cents per running meter for the fencing. You will have to calculate the total cost of the fence. From question 313, the total length of the fencing was calculated to be 490,89784 meters. And in question 314, it is stated that the fencing is sold per running meter. This means we have to round this value to the nearest meter in order to have enough fencing to complete the project. If we round down to 490 meters, we won't have enough fencing to complete the job. So we will need 491 meters of fencing. So the total cost of the fence will be 120 rand 45 cents per meter multiplied by 491 meters and this equals a total cost of 59,149 rand and 95 cents. In question 315, it is stated that the fence must be supported by poles. The dimensions of the poles are as follow. The length of the pole will be 1,8 meters and the diameter of the pole will be 0,24 meters. The hole that they need to dig for the poles must have the following dimensions. The depth of the hole will be 650 millimeters. You may also use the following formula to calculate the volume of the hole. The volume equals pi multiplied by the radius squared multiplied by the height of the hole, where pi equals 3,142. In question 315a, it is stated that the hole that they need to dig needs to have a diameter of three quarter times more than the diameter of the pole. You will have to determine the diameter of the hole that needs to be dug. Since we have the diameter of the pole, we have to calculate the extra length of the diameter in meters. The extra length of the diameter in meters will be 3 over 4 multiplied by the diameter of the pole of 0,24 meters. And this equals an extra length of diameter of 0,18 meters. This means that the hole will be 0,18 meters wider than the pole. So the diameter of the hole will be the extra length of 0,18 meters plus the diameter of the pole of 0,24 meters and this equals a diameter of the hole of 0,42 meters. In question 315b, 
you have to determine the volume of the concrete in cubic meters needed if the pole will take up 0 0.0294 cubic meters of space. Using the formula given of volume equal pi multiplied by the radius squared multiplied by the height, where pi equals 3,142, where the radius here will equal half the diameter of the hole calculated in question 315a. From the diagram, the height of the hole is given as 650 millimeters. But since this question asks us to calculate the volume of the concrete in cubic meters, we are going to have to convert this height from millimeters to meters. We should know that there are 1000 millimeters in 1 meter. So 650 millimeters equals 650 divided by 1000 and this equals 0 0.65 meters. So the volume of the hole will be equal to pi of 3,142 multiplied by the radius of the hole of 0 0,2 over 2 squared multiplied by the height of 0 0,65 meters and this gives us a volume of the hole in cubic meters of 0 0,09006543 cubic meters. So the volume of the concrete will be the difference between the volume of the hole of 0 0,09006543 cubic meters and the volume of the pole that will take up space inside the hole of 0 0,0294 cubic meters and this will equal a volume of concrete needed per hole of 0 0,0606543 cubic meters. Question 3.2 consists of two measurement questions that were designed to assess your understanding of body mass index. You are given a context where an athletics manager was recruiting boys 10 to 20 years of age to join the athletics team. The athletes are required to provide their age, height and mass to join the club. You are given a table of the age, height and mass as well as the BMI weight status table. Table 1 shows the age, height and mass of 4 boys and Table 2 shows the BMI or weight status table. In question 3 to 1, you have to identify the possible weight status of a person with a BMI of more than 25. From Table 2, we see that the weight status of a person with BMI more than 25 will be overweight or obese. In question 322, Pule was told by his doctor that he must lose weight. He stopped eating fatty foods and did more exercise. You will have to prove by calculation whether the doctor was correct to say that Pule was overweight before he started dieting and exercising. You will have to write your answer to the nearest whole number and you will have to use the following formula. BMI equals mass in kilograms divided by the height in meters squared. From table 1, Pule's age, height and mass are given in the second column of the table. We see that his height is given in centimeters and his mass is given in kilograms. Since the formula given requires the mass in kilograms and height in meters, we will have to convert the height of Pule from centimeters to meters before we can use it in the formula. We know that there are 100 centimeters in 1 meter. So Pule's height in meters will be 162 centimeters divided by 100 and this will equal 1,62 meters. Now substituting the value of his mass and height into the BMI formula will give us the following equation. BMI equals 81 kilograms divided by 1,62 meters squared and this will give us a BMI of 30,8641975,3 kilograms per square meter. Rounding this value to the nearest whole number will give us a BMI of 31 kilograms per square meter. Using table 2, we see that the value greater than 30 kilograms per square meter is classified as obese. So we have to make the statement that the doctor was incorrect in classifying him as overweight and in fact we prove by calculation that according to his BMI status he was classified as obese. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to be notified of more videos like this and you can check out this video next.